We're here at the Black Myth Wukong booth because we just played it. Matt, what did you think? Well, I think there was always a suspicion this was going to be game of the show, right? And I've not played everything at the show, <laughs> but it's certainly my game of the show. It was really, really fun. What they had on display today was four bosses. Yep. And they have a challenge for you to defeat all of them. Yeah. We almost got two. Almost got yeah, two. Well, yeah. almost three between us, because I yeah. played a, a boss that you didn't, and you mostly played a boss yeah. that I mostly didn't. But yeah, uh, these bosses are, they're very much within the Souls category. Like, I think if you've played a Souls game, you're going to be familiar, but they've definitely got a different take on it, right? Yeah. There's no blocking. This is, you play this monkey character that has the staff, and it's entirely about the offense, and mostly then dodging from that point on, and the fact that you've not got that block makes it a very different combat proposition and those bosses are sort of Sekiro like in many ways but without that block they are tough. Yeah everything is really really fast paced you have these magical abilities mm -hmm. that you can activate what were some of your favorites that you found yourself using? So there's one which you know as someone that's played a lot of Elden Ring recently I really liked one where you could summon in a, a gang of monkeys to attack which was <laughs> almost a little bit like having my mimic tear back but um, actually there was a ring of fire, which I really, really enjoyed using. I saw you use it more than me. But when you put down this ring of fire, particularly against this monkey boss we were against, like the Macaque King, it meant that like he was scared of the fire, so he'd back off, yeah. giving you that precious time to like drink from the gourds, get my health back, and then basically start the tirade again, just get back in, hit him with this staff that you can change where you hold it and get different grips on it and do different sorts of damage and heavies. There's a lot. I feel like I only got a very minor grasp on it, but I did like what I felt. Yeah, oh man. It was just such a joy to play on the show floor. One of my one of my favorite abilities was stone. Yeah. Because if you time it right, your opponent gets tripped up, and then you can just, you know, get some damage in mm -hmm. while he's staggered. Tell me more about that boss that you played that I didn't know, the, the yeah. fourth one on yeah, the list. Yeah, so, so the Black Lung, he's essentially like a giant half pig, half dragon looking beast but he's got what essentially look like massive maracas that generate lightning. And so kind of about midway through the fight, sort of where you'd expect your stage two to start, he starts drumming with them and it creates these rhythmic patterns and you have to leap over the thunder waves they create. And it's almost slightly Guitar Hero-like in that like you have to learn the rhythm and start doing the bounces with it. And I thought that along with, you know, many other attacks that you have to learn. And he's, he's a bit slower than some of the other fights we're doing. Like the macaque was very, very fast. That tiger you fought was super fast. Yeah. He was slower than them, but he packed a punch. And so it was that learning how to, you've got to dodge. Like uh, one hit from him was like more or less game over. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Tiger boss that I got a chance to encounter, he, he was probably the toughest boss out of all the ones that I got to play. Very, very fast. He would turn that stone move I mentioned earlier on me, so if I hit him, I would get staggered. And he would attack me from a different angle because it was a decoy. Man, this, this game has so many interesting facets to it yeah. that any player is going to dive into. And I was saying, that it's going to be great when we see the high level players really, really good. Oh, absolutely. Kind of like, you know, from Elden Ring, we all know that watching people fight Melania is yeah. was the highlight of the community for that, seeing sort of like, let me solo her get, get yeah. that game so high. And I can't wait to see what the high level bosses in this are. And the sort of moves that, like, there is clearly a move set that I've not touched in there. Yeah. Sort of like, I, I feel so novice at the moment, but I can't wait to see people that master that staff and learn how to do all sorts of cool moves with it. One other thing we were talking about was the palette differed from stage to stage. Yeah. It wasn't like one note, it wasn't all gray. Mm -hmm. Was there one that stuck out to you? So so I would say sort of like I was playing, that we got to play a full stage, which was in kind of like a, a very dusty sort of dust bowl environment with collapsed statues. That was good, but I would say kind of like its level design wasn't particularly fully interesting at that point. But what I will say is when we moved into the mountain area, which was covered in this beautiful snow that deforms as you walk through it in real time. Whilst we only got to see a very small amount of that level, it did look gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, I'm a sucker for the snow level. Mm -hmm. the, the Tiger King boss level, it's in this gorgeous like shrine with all these statues surrounding it. And we just stopped for a second and just looked at what the level designers had created. And I love that. Like any game that makes you just stop and take notice for a few seconds. They're doing something right. Oh yeah, you, you can tell it's on next gen tech. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unreal Engine 5, really excited about that. So overall thoughts, Black Myth Wukong. Yeah, so far my game in the show, I've not played everything here, but 
this really, I love Sekiro, I love Bloodborne, this really spoke to my sensibilities. Yeah. Well, are you hyped for Black Myth Wukong? Let us know in the comments below. And for more on all things gaming and Gamescom, keep it right here with IGN.